Hi, I am Palm Praise 2. Peace and blessings to you. I do have an evening read for you this evening. We are going to be coming out of Message to the Black Man. I have a message to the Black Man by Elijah Muhammad. We are currently on the section entitled The Making of Devil. This is take number two coming to you from Poem Praise 2 of this section. So without further ado, take two. It reads as such. Some hate me for teaching this manifest truth of that race. But I want my people here, the so-called Negroes, to wake up and escape the fire that Allah has kindled for their enemies. For they really are not to blame and only need awakening. Some so-called Negroes who are in love with the devils do not like to see nor hear it being made manifest. We could lose them without even missing them. For all who are found believing in and in love with the devils will be destroyed with the devils. Now the world must know how to distinguish the real devils from the non-devils. For there are thousands of our peoples throughout the world who can hardly be distinguished by color from the real devil. There are certain climates which seem to change the white race into a red or brown color. And where they mix freely with our own kind, their skin and eyes show a difference in color. Their eyes are brown and grayish blue. By carefully watching their behavior, you can easily distinguish them from our people. Dark, brown, yellow, or red. The characteristics of their children are easily distinguished from the original children, regardless of how near in color they may be. The devil children, whenever they are around and among original children, like to show off and love to make mockery of the original children. They teach them evil, talk filth, sing filthy songs, and filthy dancing, and games, and will not leave the original children without starting a fight. Their little mouths, like their parents before them, are filled with cursing and swearing. Remember the Bible's teaching of the race of devils, and especially in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, 3 through 12, and Revelation 12, 9 through 17, and 20, verse 10. The treatment of the so-called Negroes by the devil is sufficient proof to the so-called Negroes that they the white race are real devils. And if this teaching, along with what they are suffering from their beloved devils, does not awaken them to the knowledge of the devils, 
all I can say for them, then is that they are just lost. They won't be accepted by God, nor by the righteous Muslims with even the name of the devils. Muhammad took hold of the best, the belief in one God, Allah, and was successful. 1,400 years after him, we are successful. That is, we who will not set up another God with Allah. The fools who refuse to believe in Allah alone as the one God. If asked, who made the heavens and earth? Hmm? Most surely would say God and would not say God the Son and the Holy Ghost. Then why don't they serve and obey Allah? It is a perfect insult to Allah who made the heaven and earth and made the earth to produce everything for our services. And even the sun, moon, and stars, which serve our needs. For us to bow down and worship anything other than Allah as a God, the great Magdi, Allah in person, who is in our midst today, will put a stop once and forever to the serving and worshiping of other gods besides himself. It is the devil's way of bringing the people, the so-called Negroes, of Allah in opposition to him by teaching the people to believe and do just the thing that God forbids. Muhammad did not try making a likeness of God, nor have his followers done so. He and his followers obey and do the law of Allah, while the Jews and the Christians preach it and do otherwise. We are now being brought face to face with Allah for a showdown between him and that which we have served as God beside him. Whatever is in the heaven and whatever is in the earth submits to the God of black mankind. The sun, the moon, the stars, and the powers that uphold them are from the original black nation. He is the first and the last. The black man produces these four colors, brown, red, yellow, and white. The original people whom the white race found here, red people, were the brothers of the black man. They are referred to as the red Indians. The Indian part of the name must refer to the name of the country from which they came, India. The all-wise Allah said that they came here 16,000 years ago and that they were exiled from India for breaking the law of Islam. All of our colors, brown, red, and yellow, have ruled since the black, the white race, the most recently made color, ruled all the other colors for the past six thousand years. And I'm going to end take two right there. 
here on Poem Praise 2. So stay tuned of Poem Praise 2 for take number three of the making of devil coming out of message to the black man by Elijah Muhammad. I do want for you and your family to be safe, to be well, to be blessed, and it be at thy will. I, poem praise too, I'll talk and I'll see you later, 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 y'all. All right. Peace and blessings. Till next time. Later, y'all.